This is my 50th year in intercollegiate athletics, my seventh season at ECU, and I can honestly say that I'm immensely proud to be part of this university's mission and its commitment to service. East Carolina University was founded in 1907, and today's residential campus of 28,000 students and 110,000 living alumni make huge contributions throughout the whole Mid-Atlantic region. ECU graduates more nurses, allied health professionals, and educators than any other institution in the Mid-Atlantic region. The Brody School of Medicine is second in the country in its success in producing primary care physicians and is on the cutting edge of research into our nation's three greatest killers, childhood obesity, diabetes, and heart disease. The dental school will welcome its first class in the fall of 2011. National success is not uncommon to those who got their start at East Carolina University. Pulitzer Prizes, Woman of the Year, Sandra Bullock from People Magazine, leaders in the military and government. But our alumni have their greatest impact on the Mid-Atlantic region and the Interstate 95 corridor from Florida to Connecticut. This is the heart of the Pirate Nation, and it bleeds purple and gold out of respect for all that the university means to this region. East Carolina Athletics draws high ratings in the nearby Raleigh and Charlotte television markets. When added to the Greenville DMA, that equates to 2.5 million television households. That equals the Dallas-Fort Worth area, which is the fifth DMA in the country. The Pirate fan base is passionate. 49,665 packed Dowdy Ficklage Stadium to the brim for every game this year, ranking the Pirate football program 44th in the nation in NCAA rankings for attendance. A Pirate football day is hard to describe in words. You almost have to be there and see it. ESPN announcers have called our game day the best game atmosphere and the most electric of any stadium of any size anywhere in college football. You have to experience it to understand. The athletic department has already asked for and received legislative approval for an expansion of the stadium, which would include a new press box and boost stadium capacity to 58,000. Our athletic aspirations are not limited to football. By the fall of 2012, we will have in place a $23 million Olympic sports complex. And by the spring of that school year, a $15 million men's and women's basketball practice facility. In addition to the capital projects, the fundraising arm of ECU Athletics, the Pirate Club, raised $6.3 million last year in unrestricted annual funding. The Pirate Club was one of two organizations to win a case award for excellence in fundraising last year. The support from the East Carolina student body is incredible. 9,700 members of the Student Power Club. Think about that. As far as we can tell in an informal poll, that seems to be the largest student booster organization in the country. So we're proud of that passionate fan base that starts that freshman year. The university and its athletic programs are undaunted and remain committed to competing at the highest levels in the classroom and on the athletic fields. Thank you very much for visiting with us.